Hi there friends, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Some of you have been asking about this question. What is the sea breeze? Now, you have to remember some basic uh, physics in thermodynamics. One is that water will heat up slower than land. It basically absorbs heat, so it actually will cool down uh, much slower than land does. But we're talking about a day-to-day -day basis. Water will heat up much slower, so land heats up faster. And what happens is that as that takes place, this actually creates an area of low pressure over land. So thus, that air that is heating up much slower over the water will want to rush inland towards that, causing it to rise. And that's why we get those afternoon thunderstorms in the peak of daytime heating over islands you can clearly see this on satellite imagery as you get those clouds over land versus over the water during the peak of afternoon hours the greater the difference the quicker this will happen now if you do have strong winds aloft that kind of does break down this overall dynamic but in tropical regions on a day-to-day -day basis where you have a lack of uh, strong winds aloft a lack of wind shear that on a daily basis about a couple miles inland you'll see those afternoon showers and this is basically the cycle that we call the sea breeze so anytime somebody says oh those sea breeze afternoon showers you know the physics and dynamics behind what is creating it i'm meteorologist robert spetta if you have any questions comments or suggestions please let me know and if there's anything you would like to learn about please shoot me a message and we'll try to get that into an update all right stay safe out there